In our last video, we talked about how to become a pilot. But majority of the times, one of the biggest constraints that students have is the cost. Rather, I had to myself go through this. Despite of the fact family being supportive for my education, cost of pilot training wasn't something that they had prepared for. Pilot training even back in time was expensive and the decision of becoming a pilot was abrupt. Right after my class 12th, I was getting admission for medical, but I had chosen something else to pursue. As they agreed to spend the money on my pilot training and started emptying their saving accounts one by one, I could clearly see the responsibility of it piling up on my shoulder to make it work. No backup plan, no safety net, no other option. I had to make it work. Enough about myself. because it is not about me it's about you hello cntaa aviators i'm captain neha thakre a captain on airbus 320 and a mentor for aspiring pilots so let's get started we'll be going step wise with your progression of pilot training the cost of pilot training there is a lot of confusion about this topic so let's put a full stop on that confusion understanding how much the whole training is going to cost plays an important role in your pilot training and successful completion of it let me begin with confirming that yes pilot training is expensive there are cheaper ways and then there are more expensive ways just like you can do btech from local college or you can choose to go to oxford or harvard university etc when it comes to pilot training same way but a little different because the costs are not just paying to one college but it is like putting multiple pieces of puzzle into one place so we'll talk about the cost of all those pieces such as medical dgca ground class equipments that you will need flight training cost accommodation food during the training traveling documentation type rating airline training which is for some of them and all of it So let's begin with the medical. Starting with medical. Now the explanation of these steps is there in the last video. Pop up will be there in the top right corner. If you haven't watched that video, then watch that and then continue from here. Medicals involve class two and class one tests. Several tests need to be performed from NABL authorized laboratory. Cost of these tests will be ranging from five thousand to fifteen thousand, depending upon which laboratory you do it. Will take the average of ten thousand. You will need to do these tests twice, once for class two medical, and then next time for class one medical. Then the DGCA medical examiner fee is about five thousand rupees. So you have to do it twice. For class two and class one, including the doctor fees, would be about thirty thousand. DGCA ground class. As much as flight training is important for gaining right skills, getting the right knowledge is vitally important for your pilot career. Not only for DGCA exams, but also for your future airline assessments. The right knowledge, the clear concepts, and right approach is vitally important. I have worked for years to get the best knowledge for you with my experience of teaching and flying. I personally share that with you on CNTAA's online on-demand training. All concepts are explained into detail by myself. CNTAA is hands down the best ground class that there is for aspiring pilots. Cost of the ground class will be between 1 to 2 lakh rupees. so this should include your study material as well apart from that certain equipments that you need to buy you need basic equipments for the ground training as well as for your flight training that is a laptop or ipad then asa cx3 and a scientific calculator the total cost of this will be on an average 60000 rupees now we come to the most expensive part of pilot training that is the flight training So there are three pathways to do this. One is conventional domestic pathway, the second conventional abroad pathway and the third one is a cadet pilot pathway. First one conventional domestic pathway meaning choosing from a flight school in India to do your flight training. This will cost you approximately 40 to 45 lakhs as long as you choose a good flight school. 
if anyone is promising lesser than 35 lakh rupees in today's date in my opinion either it is scamming or the actual cost will be more than what is being told to you so beware of that conventional abroad pathway this means choosing to do flight training from countries like usa or canada while the flight training costs abroad are almost the same as india the cost of living in foreign country is relatively higher that will add about 5 to 10 lakhs to the cost expect to spend 45 to 55 lakhs on a flight training when you choose to fly from usa or canada in order to convert your license into dgca cpl you will need to do general flight test by day general flight test by night once you come back from abroad to india these will cost 2 to 3 lakh rupees again anyone promising lesser than this there is a catch and you won't know the catch until you start your flight training you would be better off if you stay prepared for the figures i have mentioned here so the average cost for flight training will be 50 lakh rupees once all this is done it is time for documentation for dgca commercial pilot license after you get your dgca cpl if you choose to do your type rating you might ask what is type rating so during your cpl training you get trained on aircraft like cessna diamond piper etc which are relatively smaller aircrafts in comparison to airbus boeing the aircraft that airlines operate type rating is training for these aircrafts and each aircraft has its own type rating and is done on respective simulator of that aircraft i'll cover what is type rating in detail in some other video so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel type rating costs vary between 15 to 25 lakhs depending upon the training facility as you are done with this type rating as the candidate gets into an airline the airline training costs between 10 to 20 lakh rupees of course this airline training is not for all the airlines some airlines choose to deduct the amount from your salary on installments but some airlines take these training outright again this varies from airline to airline there we have it the big number could be intimidating too now all this is not something that you pay at once but over a period of 2 years that's the number that pilots end up spending on their training in 2022 So why pilot training is so expensive that's a conversation for some other video you may end up spending slightly lesser than this but if you are prepared for this number you won't get stuck during your pilot training because of the financial constraints honestly it didn't cost as much when i did my pilot training but around 18 to 20 lakhs plus type rating cost it was a big number even back in time before starting my training after the decision was made for me to become a pilot i still remember confronting my father i boldly asked him is this going to put you under financial stress he replied i'll manage that part with everything that i can and you need to do your part with everything that you can to succeed in the field that you have chosen and i kept that sentence with me as a constant reminder that my family has done a lot for me to get this training i must make it work if parents are supporting you for your pilot training it's because they want to see you succeed it's not because they have to but because they want to and i was aware of that difference that's all for today's topic if you wish to get started today take your first step into aviation as a pilot sign up for cntaa the pilot ground school link in the description is below and see you in the next video